Okay, Sunday morning, and uh, yesterday was a huge day on the byways in Crowborough. I got a bit pissed off yesterday, and uh, this will be a follow on video as to why I'm fucking pissed off. You tell me if I'm in the wrong or if this other guy is in the wrong. Now I met these bunch of bikers first off at Crossing Hand Garage and they were all on off roady bikes and all that. Anyway, I was on the, on the same. And I just rolled up to these guys and started chatting to one of the blokes. And, and then another bloke came over and two of us sort of chatting. It was about half a dozen of them. Anyway, I said, oh, where have you just come from? Have you just come from Hadlow Down? And he said, oh, I, I don't know. I don't... I'm following this guy here, he's the, the leader. Now, I shall refer to the leader as the wanker, the tosser, the dipshit, the asshole, the fucking cunt. So anyway, this chaps it all off, this fucking cunt here. So I sort of went up to him and said, oh, have you just come from Hadlow Down? I was just looking for a few tips or whether it was rutted up or anything like that. And he just totally blanked me and said, righto, everybody, let's get going. Uh, we're going to go and do this, that and the other and then go to the pub. And I sort of looked at these other two blokes that I was talking to before. And they were pretty shocked as well by his reaction. Anyway, I thought nothing of it and sort of wandered off. Anyway, I did a couple of trails and was having a wonderful day yesterday. I mean, like today, it was roasting hot. Beautiful, beautiful scenery everywhere. I was well chilled. Anyway, I come up to this byway and um, I parked up and I'm opening the gate to the byway. Anyway, it's one of these gates that keep swinging shut all the time, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. So I went to sort of look for a stick. Anyway, all these guys suddenly appeared on their bikes. And I heard one of them distinctly say, um, I'll hold the gate open for him. So one of them came over and parked up and he held the gate open for me and I said, oh, cheers, buddy, and sort of rode through the gate. And I presumed he was going to hold the gate open for all his other buddies as well and then shut it and, and that would be that. <clears throat> anyway, I was going down this byway and then I noticed him in my mirror really tanking up behind me. I was going at my usual sort of speed, no hurry, just enjoying myself and enjoying the view. And he was right up my chuff, up this byway. So I kind of gave it a bit more throttle so not to annoy him too much by going too slow. Anyway, I got to the end of the byway and I knew there was another byway to the right hand side. So I turned off to the right, lo and behold he was right up my chuff again up the road, following me up the road. Anyway, I'm within about, I don't know, 50 metres or so of this next byway on the right hand side, and he comes roaring past me on this little narrow road, slams on his brake, on his back brake, skids his wheel and dives into the byway. Now there was a gate there and a car park there and he just sort of stopped and he, he very blatantly 
waved me through which you'll see in the video so he kind of waved me through and I thought oh well, he's just going to sit there and wait for all his mates to, to join him so I start down this byway I'm down about 20 meters and it was fucking lucky I saw him in my in my mirror he pushed me over I sort of went over to the left and he came past almost touching elbows now I don't particularly care about touching elbows and that sort of thing I used to race the 600s I used to race 600s in the um what am I doing? Where am I going? Oh yeah. I used to race the 600s. Club, only club racing, but, you know, they called them the axe murderers, the 600s, for good reason. You know, there's plenty of elbowing and fucking kneeing and shoulder barging, especially at the start. So I'm used to a bit of that kind of stuff, but not on a leisurely drive, or ride, I should say, not on a leisurely ride through the woods. So anyway, this bike, this bloke, this twat, comes hacking past me. So my immediate reaction was, was to kind of slow everyone else up. So I sort of sat in the middle of the track and thought, well, fuck you lot. Anyway, I came to the conclusion it's not really um, these other blokes. It's nothing to do with them. It's not their fault. They didn't try and pass me. So I pulled over and let them all go past. So you tell me whether I'm in the wrong. If I'm in the wrong, I'll hold my hands up. Right, this bloody place is open. I want an A4 paper, that's all. So yeah, you tell me if I'm in the wrong. I'll be interested, very interested actually, in, in on comments on that. I'll show you the footage now. A bunch of twats. I saw this lot in the garage earlier on where I filled up with some petrol and uh, they were fucking closed. But closed vehicles between October and March. <laughs> fucking bastards. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> well, they're going to have to follow me down here now. <laughs> How unfortunate for them. wait for each other and let me come down on my own which is fair enough oh no be right up my chuff <laughs> you're going the wrong way again
fucking dick. I'm gonna go really fucking slow now, piss him off. <laughs> fucking dickhead. Anyway, you've seen the footage. I would be interested to know what um, you know, what you think. Maybe some of you know this guy. I don't know. If you do, you can tell him from me that he's a fucking wanker. And tell him to have a look at my video. <laughs> yeah, maybe he'll enjoy that. Maybe he'll be famous for being a wanker. Anyway, that's my little rant. I did have a bit of a rant when it happened. Because it was bloody annoying. I mean, there was no need for it. Absolutely no need for it. You know? He actually waved me through as well, which I find quite strange. Anyhow, 